great. Welcome everyone to another uh, Zoom Board of Selectmen meeting, November 30th. Uh, if we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you again, Tony, for the flag. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation and under God, indivisible, indivisible, liberty, liberty, and justice for all. Thank you. Sorry. All right. Has everybody had an opportunity to look at the uh, manifests? Yeah, it, it looks look the same as they always do. All right. Somebody want to make a motion for that, or, or make a motion? We approve the accounts payable manifest of. 11-30-22 and the payroll manifest of 12-1-2020. A second. You want a motion and a second. All in favor? I, Ben Bartlett. I, Donna Danis. I, Tony Dumas. You there, Tyler? I think you're muted. Yeah. I, Tyler Eaton. I, John Warren. <laughs> okay. That's approved. Everybody had an opportunity to look at the 11-16 minutes? Yep. <clears throat> If everybody's good, could make a motion for that. I'll make a motion to approve the eleven sixteen minutes as written. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? I Ben Bartlett. Donna Davis. I Tony Dumas. I Tyler Eaton. I John Morin. Okay. Reports from assigned boards and committees. Budget. Uh, we have a meeting coming up tomorrow, so nothing. Excellent. Planning board. I didn't make the last planning board meeting. The next meeting is on the December 9th. Okay. CIP? Nothing yet. 300th? And Marston grass is still growing, right, Donna? Yep. Still growing. Always greener on the other side. Yes, yes. Town administrative report. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. I think Chris is muted. <laughs> Sorry. You got me now. Uh, I don't. I don't have the posh home Zoom headquarters that some of you do. I'm afraid it's always a bit of a scramble here. Uh, I think you have everything from me from before the weekend. Uh, uh, the best news being Bridget, uh, our assistant rec director, had a healthy baby girl just before the holiday. They're all doing well. Um, if you've been watching the COVID numbers, uh, Nottingham's got act 11 active cases as of yesterday. That number's bounced around a little bit um, off its high. Um, uh, we had traded some emails about um, the fire department and Northwoods fire department being laid up by the pandemic. Is everybody clear and comfortable on that? Yes. Yep. Um, and then uh, we don't have to get into it now, but um, when, when Sean's talking, uh, make sure we uh, cover Barry road. Uh, they learned of another, of a pretty significant problem out there with the culverts on Barry. Uh, just, just yesterday or uh, recently. Um, I just didn't want to forget that. Uh, other than that, nah, things are pretty quiet. Um, nothing else to report. Okay. Chris, thank you for the explanation in regards to the uh, fire department situation in Northwood. Um, I just, just wanted to double check on that, but I, I appreciate the input. After action items, action items review from last meeting. And I just lost it. We had, what the heck is it? 
Kelly sent us something about that had that on it. Uh, well, the 1116 meeting, the action items were the 21 budget, obviously, cycling yeah. center sticker costs, highway department budget, kitchen at the community center, and how much commercial land and audience. Yeah, now I remember. Got emails for most of that stuff. <clears throat> Anybody want to tackle one of those first or? Well, the budget's already on the agenda for us to talk about, right? Yep. I would assume the kitchen's part of that discussion. Uh, the kitchen is the evaluation that Dale gave of what we need to do and how much it might approximately cost before we send it out to bid. Yep, yep. So is that part of the budget discussion or do we want to handle that separately? Um, what do you want to do ben oh i was just thinking that maybe uh i mean i'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, talk around how how uh some of the issues surrounding that uh, project's going to be um i probably should talk separate on that one if, if everybody's good with that okay separate on the what I'm sorry, you, you cut off, Tony. Say again. I said talk separately about what? The kitchen at the community center. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the letter or email info we got from Chris. If you have more information that you think you need before you discuss, if you could let us know ahead of time, we can get you more answers if you need it. So do we, do we want to tackle the 2021 budget first or... I'm sorry, I got a lot of feedback noise here for a second. Hold on. Turn your volume down a bit. That should cut back on the any feedback you're getting from your mic. All right. That's a little better. Okay. Well, let's take out the commercial land. How much commercial land in Nottingham? Chris sent information on that as well. Did you guys uh, take a look at that? Do we have to have any more discussion about that one? Uh, that was pretty straightforward, I thought. I thought so, too. Yeah, I'm good with the information I was provided. Uh, speaking as a press, we have no knowledge of what Chris has sent in all those cases. Any particular questions you have, Steve? Or You're going to, uh, if you're going to discuss it, I would like to know what uh, Chris said about the commercial land. Chris, you want to just give a quick synopsis? Yeah, I, I just provided the board with a, well, with two things, a, a map of what is in the commercial zone on Route 4 that is not already developed, um, which isn't much. Um, there's, there's essentially... Uh, well, there's, there's three large parcels, two of them being the former USA Springs, one being across the street from it, um, and uh, a couple of mid-sized parcels that are, are not yet developed, and a, a, a couple of shards of well, smaller pieces. Um, and so that was an effort to answer what's what commercial industrial land is left. Uh, the only uh, the only area of town zoned. Uh, more or less exclusively for commercial industrial use is that corridor along Route 4. Um, and so we're just trying to answer that question and then also uh, provided some examples of uh, types of development that we've been talking about uh, on that same parcel, the town-owned parcel, and what, what those developments are worth in tax dollars to other towns. Um, so that's, that's what the board has. Thank you. You know, after looking at it, I thought it'd be worth a lot more money, but I guess it's not the tax dollar. <clears throat> yeah. Talking about 1% or... <clears throat> it, would, it would have to be something really, really big and really valuable to have a, an impact on the tax rate, I think is the short story. Right.
or we'd need 10 of them and we don't have the land for it, even if you wanted it. Yeah, it's a start. Yep, it's a start. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Next item. You want to tackle the recycling center sticker cost there, John? So I'm just using this as a thing, you know, as we look at the numbers for the recycling center every year, it looks like our income is not increasing, but our uh, transportation costs and everything, our money going out to run the recycling center keeps increasing. Other towns, and I'll be more than happy to look up what other towns have and provide that to the board, you know, a small fee to use it, you know, because you can even use the uh, fair status uh, saying that. You know, there's people in town that don't use the recycling center at all that are paying for it. And there's people that use the, the recycling center for everything. You know, so is there a happy medium out of the 6,000 residents? If 2,000 were to pay in, you know, that's forty at $20, that's $40,000 of extra revenue that goes into the town for a service that's, you know, I, again, I don't, we, never, we don't keep track and I'm sure we don't have numbers of how many actual people are using it because everybody gets a free sticker so again it's just a way to try it. it's a small twenty dollars once a year in my mind is not a big financial impact on anybody in town but it is when you put it all together as a lump sum a significant impact towards the cost of running the recycling center because, you know, so that just looking at ways of, you know, that's a, a burden, which is a, it's a nice um, luxury that we get. I mean, I say luxury is probably the wrong word, but it's a nice thing that we, the town provides for people is a nice recycling center and how we do it uh, instead of going to a mandatory like Raymond or other those where really there's a much bigger, greater cost you know, implied to having a full-time trash pickup, buying bags, and doing it that way. It's putting a small Band-Aid on a, a, a problem. But, you know, it's, it's just a way to try to recoup some revenue from a uh, sinking revenue. Hey, Chris, do you know how many households we have in town, roughly ballpark? Uh, 20, 2,200, 2,100. Households, okay. Something like that. You figure about 50% probably uses Recycle Center? We've got no no data that I could rely on for that. We, we As of a few years ago, pretty much everybody gets a sticker. So, um, you know, even the sticker count isn't that valuable. Um, and people well, because we were giving multiple stickers. stickers out for multiple cars, so right, yeah. If you have, if you have a, a car and a truck, and you bring them both to the recycling center, we'll give you two stickers if you live in town. So that that data is is of no use to us either. But you would still have to do. Uh, it's almost more like per household than per sticker because we're not going to charge you twenty dollars, John, plus your wife twenty dollars. No, absolutely. You know, and there's a ways around that by getting a little piece of plexiglass like we used to do when we first came here and you got the sticker and you, and you got it for whatever. We just put a little piece of plexiglass so we could just exchange it out to whichever vehicle we were bringing it to. Yeah. But from the household. So, I mean, there's ways around Yeah. You know, for somebody that's going to. Um, and again, I'm just looking at it as a budgetary thing of where, you know, as other things increase in town, we have to find ways to cut some of the town spending yeah and this is just a you know again an item which it's nice that we've offered it we nice we offer recycling but everybody knows from what we've seen for budgetary numbers that recycling isn't the isn't a money making you know thing yeah we make some money off the cans we make some money off some metals and stuff like this but when you turn around and we're not making it off everything else and then how transportation costs has been jumping and costing more. How much do we really make off the cans when it costs X amount to transport the cans? So it's just um, 
I think that, you know, a small fee like that, you know, once a year, I mean, you're telling somebody that, you know, it's, it's a dollar 25 a month to use the recycling center. I, how can you, John, you still there? John? His image is frozen, so I, I suspect that he's either dropped out, his power might have gone out, the wind's blowing pretty hard. So. Yeah, uh, well, that I'm not far from him, so chances are I might lose it too. But Tony, Tony what, what, what's your thought on the um, sticker? Uh, well, I was I was on the budget committee back when the stickers were first introduced, and I do remember that the original plan was to have a nominal fee for the stickers. And I think at the time, uh, the um, at the time they uh, it was supposed to be five dollars, and of course that was whatever seven years ago, eight years ago. Um, but okay. that was going to not only cover the cost of the stickers, but go to, you know, obviously to go to help support the re recycling center operation as well. Um, I know at the time they were, they were looking at some expenses, you know, mechanical repairs on the, on the balers and, you know, other stuff. So they were thinking that that money could help defray some of those operating costs. Um, and then I don't know what happened, but as soon as it, as soon as it was approved, the, um, somebody decided to cancel the fee, you know, like literally within, if I remember correctly, it was within days after the election and the voters approved it, the fee went away. Mm -hmm. Um, which, you know, I, I I don't I don't know the whole story behind that, but um, but that wasn't the uh, the original plan. Oh, uh, looks like. How about how about you, Tyler? Have we I think we lost a couple of members. We did. Um, Donna Donna lost power. <laughs> Where's the? That side mm -hmm. of the lake must have gone dark. Real one. That's She's correct. Not... If you look at down the side of the lake, it's dark. Real one seven one five. She's asking for the phone number to dial in. Eight five nine two. Tyler, are you still there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, so we still got a. What parts of the on. recycling center are we are we should say, losing money on? Is it the, the cardboard that's take a took a big hit or? I remember you mentioned something at one of the meetings. Um, <clears throat> probably best to not think about each each material as making or losing money. The, um, the the real value of recycling is in not throwing it away for 80 bucks yeah. a ton. Yeah. Um, at this point, the, the recycling market's devastated. Um, you know, there's there, there are no there are no products that make huge money anymore. Um, there's no market for, for many of them, or if there's a market, it's, uh, you know, you, by the time you get done paying the, the hauling costs to, to move the stuff around, you're not really producing a lot of revenue. I think our revenue's at 10 grand a year or so in, in materials. So we could, we could multiply that by some number and not really move the number on the tax rate side. Um, but the the real value of it is in not paying to throw it in the landfill. Uh, mm -hmm. So there are there there's no there's no one one material that's really causing us trouble. Or you know there are some that used to generate more more money than others, but uh, for the foreseeable future, there does not seem to be a a, a material that's going to be worth uh, enough money to really change behavior. So, uh, sorry if I missed this, if you talked about it already. Uh, so if, if we assume that there's a thousand, say, households in town that are using the recycling center, 
and we went with a number like say twenty dollars for a sticker, that would be about twenty k in you know additional revenue against a budget that's what about two hundred and fifty two, not counting offsetting revenues. So, kind of the, my question is, is that worth it for the logistics? And then, you know, if it was, how would we handle that, Chris? Would it be something that like your office would have to take on to manage that, the fees and everything? Yeah, we, we have never taken cash at the recycling center. Um, it's a, that would be a, a pretty significant internal control weakness. Um, if you split those transact, the, the cash handling up wherever you can. So it would be a, it, what it used to be was a transaction of a cash or check transaction in the, in our office, in the selectmen's, you know, the finance office. Yeah. Um, you, you could talk to the town clerk about doing it through there, but um, those systems are already, um, that's, that, that'd be dicey. I think given the, the multiple layers of systems we're already juggling in there. Yeah. Um, so it's a transaction at the town office once a year, however, however long the sticker lasts. And it's also, um, it also kind of raises the bar on enforcement where, you know, our, our people when they can are probably looking for stickers, but they generally know who's from town and, you know, 95% of the people are there every week and our people know them. And yeah. um, if you start putting a real financial incentive positive or negative then the the need to enforce fairly goes up and that that's a burden we haven't thought about nor nor is it easy with that physical layout to to monitor things like that yeah so that's kind of what i was trying to do is say if, if we think we would generate twenty thousand dollars a year then how does that compare to the burden of administration and um, frankly, the, rea the reaction of the people in the town, right? So Donna, I was saying before, right after you, you lost power that um, I was on the budget committee back when the stickers were first proposed and that at the time there was a a nominal five dollar charge uh proposed and that's what they you know that's what they wanted to do and that's what got approved and then right after the elections the the the, the fee you know that five dollar fee vanished somehow um but one of the when they presented on it you know part of the intent was to use it to You may have lost power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank goodness for generators. I've been told if you live in New Hampshire for more than three years and don't have a generator, you're not very smart. <laughs> Ben's gone too. Uh, Steve, do you have power? Yes, we have power and it's, it hasn't gone out. The generator's not come on yet. Okay. I'm guessing John must have lost it. But we get our power from a different source than you do. I mean, a different line. No, that's not true, Steve. Well, well ours... We used to be across the lake. Now it doesn't. Ours comes from across the lake. Ac across the cove. A ground thing? Yeah. Remember when the uh, judge's plane crashed on that wire when it went across the lake? Oh, God, no. Okay, that was a long time ago. It used to be a wire that went over the, basically across, and now it's under the water, right? Okay, but the point is we do not, we do have not lost power yet. Okay. But could you explain to me, someone, uh, Chris, what was thinking about Northwood Fire? I didn't understand that. Uh, did, that was that was the last subject. I don't know if the chair wants to go back to that, we can, but. Not, not for me to dance around the agenda, Steve. Let's see. Has anybody tried to get a hold of Ben? Let me try. 
I'm sending John the phone in information. Okay. That number that uh, Tony sent me is there's no meeting code or anything that goes with that. There is. You want it? Yeah, he didn't give me that. Six zero one two two three. Yeah. Three one zero five. Okay, I just sent it to Ben. Guess it's pretty nasty out there, huh? We're supposed to be up to fifty miles an hour. They claimed. Roads closed out in front of my house in Durham. I don't know what's going on there. It's not drunk college students, I know that. Technically, yeah. you don't have a quorum at this point. We do not. How smart you are, Steve. I learned how to count. <laughs> Ben is trying to get in, but he's saying cell service is uh, terrible. There's not a tree on that wire, I trust. Yeah, power just went out on Deerfield Road too. And then there's a pole down on Cooper Hill Road. There's a replacement happening. Tony's coming back. We'll have three. Uh, New Hampshire Electric is showing 898 uh, households out of power in Nottingham, 84% of the town. Finish. I'm surprised you have it, Steve. Yeah, that's a pretty big 84% uh, of the town's out. Yeah, that's New Hampshire Electric only. 84%, that's huge. Yeah. I just looked at the dashboard on uh, New Hampshire Co op. Tony, you back? Hello, can everybody hear me? Yes. Ben. Donna, are you a co-host on this? I am, I believe. Do you need to let Tony in? Is that how the audio works or is it? Uh, Tony, are the you- chat room. Tony, are you uh, on mute? Cause it looks like you. I, uh, I had to unmute. I was trying to figure out how to do this on my phone. Um, but I'm good now. Okay. I was trying to dial in and it says, you're in the waiting room. You've got to wait for the host. And I'm like, oh, crap. I didn't make Donna a host. Oh. <laughs> but I'm going to fix that right now. <laughs> there you go. You are now a co-host. All right. Who's still, who's still with us? Uh, me and Tyler and you. Okay. No, ben. John, no, Ben. Ben's trying to get in, but he said cell service is awful. Yeah. I'm here. Oh, he's here. Okay. Can you, can you hear me? Yep. Yep. Okay. We'll see how long this lasts with the cell phone. I don't get good cell reception up this way. Okay, so we, think... where were we, Ben? Were we still talking about recycling center fees? Yeah, I mean, we're not ready to make a decision tonight. We're just talking, right? I mean, in regards to this, I'd like to see what, what other information we can get on it. I mean, if the board's okay with that. Um, you know, uh, I, I just, 
I don't know. I got mixed feelings about uh, you know a uh, sticker fee because that all that that leads to other things like uh, you know fees for bags and all that other stuff. And I, I don't think we're ready for that yet. Um, but again, I mean, it is the consensus of the board. So. Did you did that go through? Yeah, it did. Yeah, we were okay. I think we just got John back. Did we? <laughs> it looked like it. Someone else just joined. Wow. Maybe not. I lost him. Yep. Well, it's seven o'clock. If you want to, if we want to roll right into the uh, seven o'clock meeting, there, uh, if Mr. Anderson is still with us. Hey Gary. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, good. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of disappointed that we're missing a couple people, but um, yeah, I just wanted to, because the reason I'm here is uh, uh, all around recycling and I was kind of uh, <laughs> chomping at the bit as that last discussion was happening. Um, so uh, in, in case, maybe probably not, a, not all of you know that um, I'm also, um, I'm a rep for the, the uh, regional planning board through our planning board, um, Stratford Regional. And so the reason, uh, main reason I wanted to just come to talk with you guys tonight was because we've had uh, a, a round table discussion at the regional level, regional planning board. And it's been um, quite interesting and a lot of good, good information has come up in front of me. Um, I've had, you know, in the past, a fair amount of involvement in recycling. And so um, uh, I, I just thought I would, would bring more, more or less re just report what, what's been going on at, at that level. Um, <clears throat> so that the really the, the point of these round table discussions were to see uh, how we might be able to regionally work together to maybe help to increase individual individual towns to um, well increase revenue. Really, that's the idea of it, and to offset that MSW cost, which is really the the whole key. Um, out of I'm just going to cut to the chase and give you kind of the gist of, you know, what I've come up with in these discussions. Um, you may, I, I'm, I did forward to Kelly a uh, publication from 1974, and uh, I'm not sure how many um, of you folks have seen this before, but, you know, just uh, the fact that we're the, you know, really the first um, recycling um, department in that was, uh, I believe it's just New Hampshire, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, we're, we start early compared to most of the towns. And um, the reason I, I wanted to just forward that picture is one of the things that we were talking about was um, how to really build a sense of pride in the community around recycling. And um, the, something that did come up was that possibility of Stratford Regional helping out with some of the, the information, if you will. So really, um, if, if we were to, as a town, forward some of our uh, costs, our revenues, et cetera, to Stratford Regional, they, they're they thinking that they'd be willing to, because they do have a staff to do this, put in, put this information into something that's, um, that we can ca capture and maybe use to, to share with the, the residents. 
Um, and I know, yes, we, the discussion was earlier, uh, and I, I agree with Chris, you know, the, yeah, the revenues are <laughs> really not much, but in short, what they do is they, they do offset the MSW and anything we can do to increase that would be um, just a benefit to taxpayers. So in short, that was that was what I wanted to bring up. Um, that the idea really was to maybe have a whiteboard or something like that at the at the, the uh, center to say, um, for instance, this month the revenues from plastics were this. Just educate people. Really, it's all about education, and to let people know, you know, they're. They're not doing this for nothing, so. You're thinking like a like a public dashboard in a sense. Right, right, exactly. On um, recycling center performance. Okay. Around Chris, that, is yeah. That is that, Chris, is that something you think like we could put on the web page rather than a a dry erase board at the recycling center? Oh, absolutely. That just just having the information compiled, I think, is the big step. And then how we put that out to the residents would be the other the other. Sorry, one sec. John, is that you that just returned? Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My cell phone reception is not very good here. <laughs> Welcome to Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> John, I can totally relate. <laughs> hey, guys, can I just throw something out there? Yeah. Can you hear me? You know, in light of everything that's going on with the storm, the light, power, and all that stuff, and we're all trying to dial in. And so how productive can we really have a meeting tonight? Should we just table this for another day? Um, I'm not saying you should. I'm just, I'm just coming up with an idea. I'm only catching every other word. Uh, we're losing people coming in and out and all that. I'm just, I'm just curious, you know, just trying to get a census from the board. That's all. Well, I, I would just say, I don't disagree with you, Ben. I, I just would say that I think we would need to pick another night this week to meet because I know right. we're, we're on a tight timeline for our budget and for yeah. our board, so. Do we want to try well, again tomorrow? Or do you except to... for Tuesday. What'd you say, John? Tuesday, I have a budget meeting. I have a budget meeting on Tuesday. Tuesday. What is one thing Thursday too, John? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, like, what? Well, you know, can I go back and look at my? I think you're Tuesday and Thursday this week, John. I'm not certain, but I think so. I can't go back and look at my calendar. Is it on the website? Yeah, but I can't see that because I don't have internet. Oh no, no, I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go look. <laughs> Need a generator. Oh, I got okay. one. But you know, when I go haul it up from my shed and plug it in, it doesn't connect my internet because that room, it doesn't work. The rest of the house does. So if the town calendar is correct, it only has it for Tuesday night. And then planning okay. board is Thursday. I'm sorry, planning board is Wednesday. I mean, we could try to plug through tonight, just plug through, but I mean, I I'm only catching every other word and I don't know. Do you, I mean, Wednesday or Thursday or any other day this week? I mean, what, what does the board think? I'm fine any other night this week. Uh, yeah, me too. Chris and Sean, what about you guys? Did we lose them? Um, flexible. Yeah, I am. I'm flexible too. All right, so what about I mean, is Gary is Gary done? 
Yeah, I, I think think Gary? the discussion would be more fruitful. What did Gary have to say? Pardon, <laughs> pardon me? This is... What did Gary have to say? <laughs> Watch the videotape. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 let me see, Gary, if I can get give it the right synops synopsis. So Gary has been attending the regional meetings uh our representative with the yeah. regional group right you get you get that part yeah i know it is um, yeah. so what gary is thinking about is how we can maybe provide some additional education to the folks in nottingham to kind of give a sense of you know what we might be taking in for revenue kind of where we are with the scent with the recycling center operations and that I think Gary, correct me if I'm wrong, but there is an interest on the part of the regional group to kind of get data from us so that they're looking to kind of like collate data from the entire region and kind of share information sure. there as well. Is that correct, Gary? That's correct. That's one of the ideas that the regional people were thinking of. Yeah. Do you have a list of things that they want us to, to get to? Uh... I can I can come up with that. It'd be based the basic uh, the revenues, the cost of MSW, the cost of tipping fees, all all the stuff that's involved, really. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. For a general a general operating budget for the uh, the recycling center, what it costs us. Right. Right. Yeah. So I mean the, that that is in the budget, right? But I guess Gary, one question would be like, what what would we try to be trying to do with that? Are we trying to drive some type of change, or you know, what are we trying to influence by doing that? Um, well, to to keep the the pride factor for one, or to build that build on that. And to also maybe increase um, the awareness and not, not to lose people on the recycling end. Um, just to really, it's 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 not something that you're going to see a a huge response overnight. But hopefully, in the future, uh, things may turn around. Maybe our our um, revenues will increase somewhat. Also, the the possibility of working with working regionally to maybe store materials, maybe to do other things like that that might help us to increase revenues. So, this is all at a at a starting point as far as the discussions. But um, I I really just wanted to bring it to you guys. Yeah. Okay. So you guys then were we still talking about ta uh, tabling this meeting and continuing it on Thursday? If the if the consensus from the board is good with that, I'm good with that. Like I said, I'm only I only got half of what Gary said. I mean I mean it's it's whatever the board wants to decide. Oh, I like the table because we have a lot of discussion with the highway department and I want to discuss about the, you know, the non-public. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, my phone audio is a little choppy as well. So I, I don't want to take a chance of, you know, missing something important before we have to make a decision on anything. Fair enough. Don or Tyler, you, you feel the same? It's fine. Do you, can you, with, with the non-public uh subject that you have to work on can you put that off till thursday or do you want to or do you want to discuss that soon i think it'll be okay until thursday i mean does everybody else feel the same yep okay that's um there's a communication need there ben speaking between the lines you're gonna you're gonna stay on top of the communication that related to that i only got part of that chris i'm sorry say again I just want to make sure that the the necessary communication is happening. If you're if you're putting that non-public subject off. Oh, I, I yeah. Okay. Yes, that's, that's all. Tony, uh, the three hundredth 
and schedule a meeting on our Thursday. Can you handle two meetings on the same night? Um, oh, you're talking about Zoom? Are you talking about, damn it. I, I, I have the 300th meeting on Thursday night. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to jockey the meeting. Anybody that, um, anybody there can, I mean, I can start the meeting for you and then make somebody else a host and then I can drop out. So okay. we, we can make that work. We'll just have to log you in early. That's all. Sound good? We work with Steve Walsh, but yes, it's, it's okay. As long as you can handle both meetings, it's the same system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just give me a ring on Wednesday and I'll, we'll, we'll go over it. So, Tony, okay, would you... So... Say again? Sorry, Tony. Would you Tony, like... I cut you off. I'm sorry. That's, that's okay. Would you like me to uh, come back on Thursday and to reiterate this? And there were a couple things I did want to add as well around economic development. Sure. Um, I'm good with it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Look forward to it. Okay, so what night are we going to meet, guys? Thursday. Okay. Thursday. Thursday works for me. John, Tyler. I'm good. Yep. What time? All right. So Thursday it is. What time? Six thirty. Okay. So what I'm do you good do? Anytime. We need a motion to table this meeting. Wait, 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 wait. Chris was about to say something. Yeah, you can you can recess the meeting. You just have to be specific about when you're going to restart it, and if it's you know, and say that it's going to be on Zoom. We'll 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 mention it, but without uh, I mean, we'll post it, but um, just recess this meeting uh, to time and date certain, and then we'll be legal. Okay. All right. Well, um, unless we have anything else, I'll make a motion to recess this meeting until Thursday night at 6.30. Um, same time, same channel on Zoom. I'll second. Yeah, motion and a second. All in favor, I, Ben Bartlett. I, Donna Danis. I, Tony Dumas. I, Tyler Eaton. I, John Morin. Okay. Meeting tabled until Thursday.